Well, watching the game, Gab, and look, what, what do I know? But, but it, it wasn't working for United, was it? Till they got two great goals. Yeah. But it wasn't working. I'm thinking, put Marcus through the middle. Go yes. four four two. Put Mahoyland through the middle and get him involved more. He, you know, but I, I've seen him the game before. He was diabolical. Yeah. I, I don't think he was that bad yesterday. No, I don't think we can like um, some of these Manchester United fans are trying to use Marcus Rashford as a um, escape for the lot. As, yeah. yeah, as a scapegoat. Yes, he's not been at his best, but yesterday he was tackling. He showed fight. He looked interested. It was a tough game. I mean, Hoyland was poor for me. You know, against Van Dijk, he, he didn't give Van Dijk anything to worry about. So you could you could have played Rashford, got rid of Hoyland, Rashford yes, on there because he's got, got pace Nacho to on the try left, and get him behind, and then um, Anthony on the right because Anthony's been playing better last couple of games. So I, I don't see you using um, Rashford as a scapegoat. But looking at the games, um, the manager Ten Hag is saying um, we should have had nine points because he did late goals. Alan, in their last three games, they've conceded eighty-seven shots on their goal. Yeah. 87 shots on their goal nearly 30 a game you don't deserve to win games and and then three games have not deserved to win no. you know yesterday against Manchester I mean, uh, against Liverpool didn't deserve to win Liverpool 15 shots in the first half 28 in total Manchester United zero shots on or off target in the first half in the last two games against um, Liverpool they've conceded 62 shots Liverpool I thought Bruno as Ridiculous. well before he scored his great nothing. goal I thought he'd done nothing don't get me started on Casemiro honestly <laughs> Casemiro Al he was running like Jamie in the TalkSport trophy trying to track back he was treading water players strolling past him there was once in the second half where Diaz chopped inside and ran past him and he's got no effort to get back you know, and mm. if you've got someone like that as your defensive midfielder, no wonder you're conceding on average 30 shots a game. Heading his own. Yeah, he, he, he's tracking back in slow motion, Casemiro. Uh, someone else not pleased with what he's seeing from United is the former captain, Roy Keane. Who's he having a go at? It's not Marcus. He had this to say about Ten Hag. Listen, he says, obviously he's had a couple of glasses of wine after the game. Mm -hmm. I don't know how strong that is, but he seemed really upbeat. I admire him for that. I admire him because he's obviously seen something that I'm not seeing at this moment in time. The way United are playing is like a mid-table team, a small club. You don't know what you're going to get. And I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, wow. Roy is right there. Yeah, quick because Roy Keane's probably thinking, I won so many league titles in Manchester United. Manchester United have got a minus one goal difference, 22 points behind the Premier League leaders. And why is he so upbeat, Ten Hag? Yeah. What's the be upbeat about? Because you, you're in the semi-final against Coventry of the FA Cup. Oh, the way he said that. Oh, you know, he, he reminded us again he'd made a semi, didn't he? Yeah, no, 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 no. Hang on a problem. second. Do you, yeah. know, do you know what Manchester United's about? Do you know what these fans want? Mm. These fans don't want to be like um, 11 points behind top four. It's embarrassing. Mm. An embarrassing season for Manchester United. Let me take a call. Let me take a call. 03 717 Michael's a Man United fan. Michael, good morning. Good morning, Michael. How are you doing? How are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, good. We're trying to get to the bottom of this, Michael, but it's, it's not the yeah, United we know. So there's a, there's a few things I want to ask Gabby one of the questions as well. Basically, we've got three midfielders, but mm -hmm. there's no midfield. They're not cohesive enough, yeah. are they? They don't play as a unit. Um, so then secondly like, I feel like Ten Hag like his demeanour and stuff no one's running through walls for him are they like he, I don't think he can motivate the team and I think I think in this day and age that's an important thing in a team like you look at Klopp you look at Pep uh, a bit uh, and at Spurs like they, they, uh, man motivated it's like Fergie yeah. was weren't he um, and basically the thing you talked about Casemiro then He's come from Madrid challenging for titles and stuff. And then, like, he's, he's at the end of his career and, like, all of a sudden we're 22 points behind. Yep. I think third place. Mm. Like, he's not he's not going to be motivated. I feel like he's not going to be motivated. But, but, but Michael, I'm Michael, I'm watching football. the game right, Michael, as a neutral, and I'm, I'm making notes on the game. And 90% of my notes are Casemiro. Like, he's strolling around. He's not getting tight to anyone. He's not hunting back. There was a chance for Sobersly in the first 10 minutes, and he's just jogging back. Yeah. Even the commentator says, yeah. oh, Casemiro's not trying to get back. Like, by, by the way, is it me? Or is it, um, listen, there was two worldly goals, right? Yeah. Bruno and the young, the young Manu. boy, Manu. But I tell you now, I think United are desperate for some pace in the yes. field. They have no pace. They can't no. get up and back. Not in my opinion, no. they can't. So there's a long way to go, Michael. That's for you. Let me take it. Is it Daryl on the line now? Daryl, good, good morning. 
Morning, chaps. You okay? Yeah, good, yeah. mate. Good. Oh, what a game. Well, listen, Anthony, as we all know, is clearly not a £90 million player, but after the game against Chelsea, mm-hmm. I thought, keep him Menson going, bring him on. Didn't start him. The rest of the team was pretty poor. Um, Casemiro, you're right. I mean, I could have played better than him. Just so casual around the pitch. But um, bring him on. He's probably the most exciting player on Ch- on Thursday against Chelsea. And then he does nothing. They want to play out the back. Harry Maguire kept head- heading the ball out of the out out of touch. I mean, this is a great Man United. We're just we're just average. We really are just average, isn't it? And Barrel. Ten Hag, why he can't just admit if he just said something once like yeah. We're not, we weren't the races today, chaps. We weren't as good as we made out to be. But he keeps building them up and building them up. We need a reality check. He's just, we're just not as good as we think we are. Well, yeah. I think as well, Darrell, when he comes out and says, you know, we're still going for the Champions League, it's like, be realistic to your, your fan base. And like, and like you said there, when you, when you watch Manchester United, you, you don't see a star on a play, do you? It's like you've got individuals that can make something happen, but you're not a team, are you? I mean, listen, as much as I hate to say it, Liverpool are a great team, you know, hands up. Just, yeah, we're average. Just admit we're not as great as we, as we expect mm. to be. And, you know, stop stop playing the, the fancy cast mirrors. If you're not playing well, you take them off. I mean, yeah, I he's trying, to be, he's trying to be positive, Ten Hag, but yeah. he, he's not fooling anyone. Don't worry about that. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.